This is the video for the person that wants to skip all the other information and get right to the side effects about Saxenda. If you are confused about your weight, if you have questions about weight medication, if you want medically based answers to your weight questions, you are in the right place. I'm Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is important because I regularly prescribe these medications. I talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of patients lose weight and I'm here to help you too. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the side effects for Saxenda, which is also known as liraglutide, which is also known as Victoza. So let's dive in. So in general, because Saxenda is one of the GLP-1 receptor agonists, we can expect that the side effects will be very similar to others in that category. So that includes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, reflux, uh, some people get a headache, some people get fatigue. Now for any of these medications, uh, when people are losing weight, especially if they're losing weight on a more rapid timeline, there's always the risk that the body forms gallstones. And this is for any weight loss, any time a patient is losing weight, doesn't really matter the mechanism. If you're losing weight at a faster than we would expect pace, there's a higher likelihood that your body can create gallstones and gallstones come with many different complications, one of which can be gallstone pancreatitis. Also, the medications can increase the risk of pancreatitis on their own. This would be an extremely rare complication, but it does happen every once in a while. There's also the risk because these medications slow the movement of food through the stomach that the absorption of your other medications could be affected, and this includes birth control. So if you're on an oral contraceptive, it's very important that you use a backup method as well to make sure you don't have any surprises. Now with regards to Saxenda in particular, you may find that because it is a daily medication, you are at higher risk for injection site reactions. And also because it's a daily medication and it tends to peak around eight to 12 hours after the injection, you may have to play around with the timing of the medication as well. And this could help reduce your side effects too. With Saxenda in particular, you may find that you have more dizziness than you did if say you've tried Wagovi or Zepbound, and also patients may find they have a little bit more congestion. In addition, you may also find that the weight loss is not as dramatic. For liraglutide, AKA Saxenda or Victoza, patients can expect to lose around 10%, but not the 15 to 20% that we would expect from Wagovi and Zepbound respectively. Now, everybody's different. So certainly there are some people who are gonna lose more and some people who are gonna lose less, but in general of the three, on average, patients who are on Saxenda lose about 10%. So the takeaway is this is a broad list of side effects that you may have if you are on Saxenda, but good news, you might not have any of these. Everybody's reaction is a little bit different and there are plenty of patients who are on this medication that really don't have any side effects at all. So this video is not meant to scare you, but just bring some awareness to what you may or may not experience. Also, if you're worried about side effects or you are experiencing them, it's really important to talk to your prescribing physician because there are ways around it and ways to kind of decrease the severity of it if you still think it's the right fit for you. Also, I've made a bunch of videos about side effects and side effect hacks, so go check those out. Also, if you are experiencing a side effect that isn't listed here, I would love to hear about it. I always love hearing about your experience on these medications, so please share below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, do all the things, and please be well.